Coot here coming at you with another exciting video from deep in the San Gabriel Mountains. This is my view. Sun's about to set. I really need to get going, get out of here. But basically there's a creek that runs along one edge of the campgrounds. Uh, there's multiple sites too. You can put tents, you can put hammocks. I've done all this in other videos. I got up here today bikepacking. So beautiful time of year to do this. It's around December. It's cold though. 37 overnight low. I'd say around 50s during the day. This is December 2023 anyways. Uh, so you got mix of trees, you got pines, you know, you got some yucca, you got some oak and all good stuff back there. A lot more pine than oak, I guess. Uh, there is a lot of poison oak up here too, by the way. But let's talk about hardware. That's what I basically wanted to talk about in this video. Nice little fire pit that I'm sure somebody's going to put to good use as this winter keeps going and all the good stuff. But anyways, let's talk hardware. So this is the case that I use for my hardware. This used to be my old first aid kit, uh, but any, you know, any kind of like bag that has like some nice, good, you know, material to it, like a nice, good, thick, you know, material is what I like to, what I like to use. But let's talk hardware. So these are great. These little Petzl, these are like rock climbing you know, like a rock climbing, uh, easy, whatever it's called thing, even jiggy. I'll put a link down below in the description, but basically what this is, is let's see if it actually says it on here. Sterling rope. Is that what, is that the company? I don't know. Anyways, but basically the way this works is I, I would wrap this around a tree, right? So get this around a tree and then loop, loop this. So this goes around the tree, loop this through or like a tree branch. And then now I've got multiple points to clip into. Right. And what do you clip in there? You clip in like your MSR dromedary bag or you clip in like some clothes or some boots or some shoes or whatever. So if you don't have like a good branch to hang from or clip from or whatever, what you could do is you could always go around the trunk of the tree is basically what I'm trying to say. But that's that's what this sucker is for. OK, so then I've got nylon webbing and this is just an example of like, you know, the nylon webbing that. Uh, I would bring, usually I bring a piece that's like 10 feet, sometimes 15 or 16 feet. And these are great for like tree straps, right? I try to double them to do, to cause less damage to the tree. So like if I'm going to wrap around the tree, you've seen me do this in other videos too, where I, where I show you my hammock setup, but basically always good to have some webbing. Plus this can also act as an emergency Swiss seat if you need to go rappel down something and also just a rope in general, if you need to like, you know, let's say there was fallen wood here. There isn't too much this time of year because, you know, we're, we're at the tail end of the summer, right? December 2023. So a lot of the wood, like there's some, there's little bits and piles over there. But if this was a plentiful fallen wood, you know, dead wood campsite, what you could do is wrap this around like a few logs and then drag this back to your, to your fire pit or your fire ring or whatever. So that's another good use for this. Okay, then I've got... Uh, the s beaners s beaners are fantastic so there's what the s beaners look like uh, and these these are some of the many sizes that they come with so there's a large there's a medium there's like another one there's another one i think all these are numbered as well so if i look see like that's a number 500 pound this one is a number four 75 pound weight rating right this one is a number three 25 pounds and this is like the little mini guys this is a number two. This is rated for like 10 pounds, but different uses. So what I, what I will typically do is like, this will be something that'll hold my pack up. So like I might clip into here and I might clip my pack on one side and then clip that into the other side. These, uh, these size or this size, this is what I usually put my tarp on. So like you don't realize how strong the wind is until it gets windy, even with snake skins or whatever. Like you don't realize how strong the wind is. So I use these on either end of my tarp. Uh, then I've got some like light line cord here. I, I, I will put links down below. I think this, partic this particular brand has like the glow in the dark neon stuff. So like it's reflective, which is a good thing. Because when you're walking around with your headlamp, you can actually see everything. Uh, so then I've got these, uh, whatever, the, whatever size this was. What was this? This was a... Uh, number 325 pound this would be something like i would i would do like my knock vecto water filter system with the hydro blue like i would clip that into there and then these small ones you use these things for everything like i have i have the war bonnet black or sorry war bonnet superfly the superfly tarp so i use this to keep the doors closed 
you know, or you could hang, like clip these into like a pair of like the laces in your boots and you could hang your boots up at night so they don't, the creepy crawlies don't go in there. But great little, great little piece of kit are those S beaners. Okay, then I've got the tent stakes and these are, wow, you can use these things for everything, right? Um, you can use them to stake down your tarp, your hammock wings. Like I have a war bonnet, Blackbird XLC double, I believe it is. So I've already, this same material, the same paracord material, this really thin cord material, I've already pre-looped this. So all I got to do is just loop through with like the tent or whatever, or you could always clip like an S beaner right into there so that you got that action going on. Sorry. So you got that action going on. So then you get, then you can like clip into a tent stake if you need to, for whatever reason. But these are great. These are, I believe these come in three different sizes. There's like a bigger version. That's like for, there's like a bigger version. That's like for snow or sand. Then there's like a smaller version, but this particular, like the blue ones, I think this company is DAC. So the company is DAC. As you can see right there, DAC is the name of the company. These are perfect for when you don't know what you're going to encounter, right? So like up here, for instance, like normally I hang my hammock like in this area. Sometimes I've hung it like over in this area. But there's a mix of like boulders and rocks that are in the ground. So as you start putting your stake in, you're like, man, like I can't even get the stake into the ground. This is, this is the good size where you can kind of move it around and see, you know, find a good patch of soil to go into but like i said if i was going to do snow or sand there's a bigger size than this one in my opinion i know i'm going to get flack for this but in my opinion these are the best budget stakes you can possibly find good quality low price right that's what this whole channel is about it's about trying to find the highest quality at the lowest possible prices so that's why i like those dac stakes okay uh, carabiners and descending rings. What do I use these for? So there's another, there's another good example of a piece of kit. So with webbing, right, this is my hammock, this is my hammock strap setup. Basically what I'll do is in this loop, I'll put two of the rings. Let me show you this on camera. This is cool. Cause I get to show you something new. Uh, okay. So I have four rings and one carabiner, right? What I do is with the tree strap that goes around the tree for the hammock setup, I put two rings on the inside. Okay. Then what I do is I go around the tree. So actually let me, let me even these up real quick. Do 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 here in some ASMR tree action. Okay. So what I do is I go around the tree right now i've got these two rings so now what i do is i come through i loop through and then i double back through this one pull give yourself enough room to tie these off if you needed to but now when you pull on this it's basically like a seat belt or like one of those old school belts it's very tight for hanging the or for the tree strap itself the part that i forgot to tell you about though was <laughs> What's this part? So, so these two rings are through this piece of webbing. Then these two rings, these two rings are going to go around. So both go through, right? So I got two on the inside loop, if that makes sense, two on the inside loop. And then I got two that are going around both. So then this comes through, right? This goes here. So now I can pull this tight. There you go. So this goes around the tree. And I always put the buckle around the back side of the tree. And this is in the front side of the tree. So now what I can do is here now I can get another piece of webbing. Let's use this as just an example. Uh, now I better not do it because I'm going to get flack for it. But anyways, you get the idea. Basically then I can loop through more webbing, do the same thing. And I can keep daisy chaining and daisy chaining as I go. The way I connect the hammock to the piece of webbing is basically this goes through i have a loop at the end of my hammock right i believe it's dyneema cord something like that uh dyneema is like super strong it's really lightweight but dyneema cord is basically like like in a loop at the end at the end of the hammock at each end of the hammock so this carabiner goes into that loop and then this whole thing goes here so basically it's dyneema loop here the carabiner and then this and i like the locking carabiners because that way, if you're fumbling around the middle of the night, there's no way this thing's going to come undone and you're all set. So basically, that's what I use this for.
anyways, if you do like what you're seeing, this is basically the hardware for not only, you know, hammock stuff, but also tent related like the stakes and also just general campsite, you know, tidiness, organizing. You get the idea. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down there below, wherever that is. I will put links to most of this down in the description section. These descending rings are like, was it? 14 kilonewtons i mean that's just ridiculously strong like you are not going to break one of these by hanging a hammock <laughs> on a tree i mean even if even if you and four you know four wild animals decided to jump on the hammock at the same time the hammock is going to break before these rings do the straps themselves are rated pretty strong pretty strong whatever that means and then these carabiners let's see these are 24 kilonewtons if you just do this right and you locked it and then I think it's seven kilonewtons this way, right? So seven kilonewtons this way. And then I think it's like another seven kilonewtons if you leave this open for whatever reason and you're hanging this way. So the, the important thing is like if you lost this for whatever reason and you were just using like a hook, like seven kilonewtons, if you have this on and you lock it like a locking carabiner, 24 kilonewtons and then if you try to go this way it's seven kilonewtons does that make sense i hope so anyways comment down below if you like what you're seeing like i said i wouldn't use this stuff to you know go too crazy but for hanging a hammock for hanging a water bottle or your knock vecto knock vecto you know water filtration system there you go this is what works for me in the hardware that works anyways like button subscribe button description section check out this view again and we'll catch you all on the next exciting video